I have an Xbox 360 with the FAR 2 common 0102 error. And let's see if I can be coordinated enough to do this one handed. 0102. Okay. And I'll just write this right up here. 0102. So you guys can see it's the same system when I power it on. And what I'm going to do now is carefully remove the X clamps and then I will clean all the uh, old heat sink tar basically that Microsoft uses. Uh, dip some Q-tips in this, goo gone, and then remove the goo gone with rubbing alcohol, isopropyl. And then I will do the reflow and show you that process. I've got my motherboard here and it's got the same 0102 and I've polished up the CPU and GPU so they look like mirrors and uh, basically what I'm going to be doing uh, I've got my Andy Wagner 1000 that I got from Walmart here for 20 and uh, basically all I'm going to do is heat this bottom side here for a minute on the low setting and just evenly cover the whole board uh, trying to evenly heat it and then after a minute I flip it over to the top here and I'm going to do four minutes on the high setting heating the CPU, GPU, uh, all four RAM chips Southbridge, HANA and all the little components in between and of course uh, trying to avoid direct heat to the capacitors um, plastic pieces I've never had any problems with any of them popping or anything like that, uh, but you know, still a good idea to not directly heat those at all. Just hit the CPU and you'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna flip this over here. It's a uh, this is a fairly easy process to do, so uh, it usually works. So that's why I'm pretty confident here doing this while I'm taping it. So let's see, I got my clock on my computer here. And uh, here we go. Going to be doing this about a fifth length away from the board. evenly spreading the heat around. Okay, turn that off. and still relatively cool, so you can actually flip that with your bare hands. The solder hasn't melted, so it doesn't really hurt anything to do that. And now we're going to do this on high for four minutes.
bright and now if you'd like you can also switch it to the low setting to slowly bring the temperature down a little bit here. Just switch it to low and then we heat it up a little bit further away from the board. And there you have it. Uh, none of the caps are bulging. Your solder should look fairly shiny. Uh, let's see if I can focus this here a little bit. Maybe not. <laughs> um, and then just let it sit for 30 minutes or so uh, until it's cool. And then come back and reapply your X clamps and you should be good to go. Okay, I've got my Xbox here. 0102 back in the metal chassis, uh, DVD drive and child and everything back on. X clamps have been uh, replaced with my M5 screws, uh, number 10 nylon washers, and uh, basically what you need to do now is uh, pray to Jesus or Allah, uh, I guess Darwin if uh, you're an atheist, and uh, turn it on and hope for the best here. There you have it. Works like a charm. Alright. Good luck.